Hi Capricorn, welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your love reading today. As always, it is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you out there. Take the messages that do. You can check out uh, your other signs for a full picture. There is a playlist link below as well. This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus signs. Personal reading info is below. Uh, also, my new channel, Heal to Love 333. I've put some popular uh, video links below for uh, helping you to manifest love and abundance in your life. And then lastly, uh, my giveaway. I do do a monthly giveaway <clears throat> with uh, free readings, okay? I give away free readings each month. So check that out if you'd like to enter. Let's get started with your reading. I'm going to pull one card for the overall energy. We'll look at the bottom ooh, of the deck and we'll see what your challenge is. But the uh, Nine of Cups flew out here. I'm going to put that back because there's too many cards. But it looks like there's some sort of wish fulfillment here. We'll see what plays out. Let's get the overall energy here for Capricorn. Okay, so nine of wands. So there's something here I feel like you've been hoping for, wishing for uh, nine of wands energy. Okay, with a wounded warrior. Somebody's feeling beat up in this situation. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. All right, I feel this is an energy here of something. This person's wanting something to come to fruition. They're waiting for things to grow, to prosper here. Uh, but it's also been a struggle, a challenge. Now, the bottom of the deck here, you have the King of Cups. Okay, this is the challenge here. I feel, uh, Capricorn, you may be dealing with somebody here who struggles with their feelings, their emotions. Look at this. And the Devil card. So this may be somebody here you're waiting to hear from or you're waiting to, for them to express their feelings. This is uh, also your energy here, Capricorn. Uh, and I feel like you're struggling with this, okay? You've been waiting for someone to open up, to share their emotions, maybe even waiting for some communication because you do also have here the Eight of Wands and then you have the Two of Cups. So somebody you have a very strong connection with, somebody you feel very uh, bound to, I get here. But I feel like you're getting to the point where you're tired of waiting for this situation or waiting for this person to open up to you. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Capricorn? Let's get three cards. Look at that. There is that nine of cups again. Okay. There's some sort of wish fulfillment here that you are hoping for, waiting for. You have the Four of Cups, you have the Hermit, and you have the Two of Swords, and bottom of the deck, look at that, you have the Judgment card. All right. So you have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy, you have strong Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So we talked about the Nine of Cups. I feel like you've been waiting for something. You've been struggling with this. I feel like you're waiting for this person to express their feelings, their emotions to you. Uh, you know, even offer their cup of love here. Okay. There is an energy that you are dealing with someone, like I said, who could have some ego, somebody who could be stubborn. Um, somebody I feel who may be fighting their emotions, I'm hearing, fighting their emotions here. Uh, I feel like for some of you, this could be somebody that you uh, may have broken up with or there is some sort of di distance, okay? This person's doing a lot of thinking here with the Hermit card and the Two of Swords. They're holding back, they're, you know, they're holding back from expressing their feelings, their emotions, what they want in this situation. They're not giving you clarity because I feel like this person is trying to go within, okay? They're trying to do some soul searching here before they take any action. But I do feel like this person is going to come back around because the bottom of the deck, you have the judgment card and you have the tower, so I, I feel there was some sort of tower moment, 
but this also can be this person returning unexpectedly. They're showing up as the emperor. Again, somebody um, who holds back their feelings and emotions here. And I feel like they're returning here to, to either heal the situation or to build back some trust, okay, or respect in the connection is what I'm getting here. I feel this is, you've got strong Aries energy here. I feel like there could have been broken trust uh, or something may have happened uh, that was a shock here. Okay, um, and I feel like this person knows that they have to come back differently. They can't come back the same way that they did. That's why this tower moment happened, okay, or is happening. Okay, so, so this person I feel is going to return. And for some of you, you may not be expecting them to return is what I'm getting. But I feel like you're, you know, you're hoping that this person is going to return. Let's pull some more cards here. Okay, so you have the Temperance card. You've got Strong Sagittarius. You have the High Priestess, Strong Cancer and Pisces energy. And you have the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, and bottom of the deck, look at that. You have the Ace of Cups. Give me just a moment. I got here, Capricorn, I'm getting a few different things, okay? I feel like you're, this person is going to return, all right? This is somebody that hurt you, okay? And now there's, they're offering their cup of love. For some of you, I feel this is an energy here where you've been through a lot. And I actually feel you're healing through a past situation. And I feel like there could be somebody new coming into your life with this Knight of Pentacles and this page of wands so some of you i feel there's a new person coming in as well and i also feel you're going to hear from this past person that's what i'm getting that you have the temperance card so i feel there's an energy here that um there is a chance okay to to rekindle for union here i feel like this is the wish whoever's wish this is I feel there is a chance for healing the connection and union here. Now you have the High Priestess. Okay, and as I said, uh, I do feel that this is your person. Your person's been holding back. Okay, they've been thinking about things. They've been doing a lot of soul searching. There, this may be somebody who may have rejected you, I'm getting. Uh, but this also can be that uh, you're not too sure if you want to be with this person because like I said I do sense that there could be new love coming in for you so I do get that there could be some sort of secret or something unknown here okay that you, you don't know everything in the background why this person is not taking any action you have the seven of pentacles so I feel Capricorn you're definitely reflecting on all of this Okay, definitely reflecting on this, what you've been through, all of the challenges that you've been through. I feel like you're trying to use your intuition here, even though you have some hope here. But as I said, I feel like there could be somebody new coming in for you. Some of you may be moving on and healing uh, with new love because this other person I see here hasn't taken any action. But let's see what else comes out. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What other messages do you have for Capricorn in love? Okay, you have the Eight of Pentacles. You have the Three of Wands. I feel like that one wanted to come out. And you have the Magician. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Fool card. Let's look what's under the Fool. The Empress. Okay, Queen of Swords. I feel, um, Capricorn, what I'm seeing here is I feel like you've been waiting for this other situation. You were hoping that there would be union here. You were hoping things could work out. But I feel like you got to the point 
or you're getting to the point where you're tired of waiting for this person because you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords, the Empress, and the Fool card, which tells me I feel like you are doing what is right for you. You're using your intuition, which is in the center of your reading. I feel here your higher self here is rethinking this. I feel like you are rethinking this situation and I feel like a lot of you are opening yourselves up to new love because I do see new love uh, presenting itself here because I feel like this other person is not taking any action. Now you have like a, uh, the Eight of Pentacles and this is where I feel like this is somebody here that I feel in the past you wanted to work on things. You wanted a uh, union with this person that feels like there was that wish here for healing a situation but then you have the three of wands and i feel like your intuition is telling you here to open up your opportunities okay uh open up to other possibilities here in the situation because this person is it seems to be very stubborn or there is ego involved as i said before you have the magician as well so I feel like this is what you're thinking about, you're reflecting on. I feel like you're going through your own healing. And I feel you too, you're going through your own soul searching here. You've been through a lot. And I feel like you're manifesting a new beginning here for yourself. Okay, with this Queen of Swords and this Empress here, doing what's good for you. You're manifesting a new beginning. Uh, I feel like this is towards new love. Okay, because I'm not seeing um, your person taking any specific action yet. I'm going to pull the possible outcome in the situation. Uh, but first I'm going to pull some Romance Angel cards. We'll do the outcome and then we'll pull some guidance. Thank you, Angels and Spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Capricorn in love? Oh, my Lord. Look what you have here reconciliation someone from your past is returning okay so what you've been hoping for wishing for in the past that you've been tired of waiting for this person is returning so let's see what other messages you receive here you have expressed your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture all right, I'm going to pull another card because this could either be the new love I'm seeing or this could be this person from the past. Let's see here. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. All right. You know, I feel like this could go either way. If you're wanting to re reconcile with your person, um, I do feel like your person is going to reach out to you. They're going to express how they feel about the situation. Okay, I feel that this person maybe wasn't taking any action because there may have been differences between you and this person and this person was unsure and that's why they were holding back. But I want to say at the bottom of the deck here, you have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. And I feel that's where your intuition, the center of your read here. You have the four of cups. It can be your energy as well. Telling you um, to investigate okay, what this person is offering. All right. Are they offering what you're wanting in the situation? Or are you just an option here with the three of wands? Okay, I think I'm going to pull three more cards. Um, let's see what else comes out. Look at this. You have engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So your person may even come back around and tell you that they want commitment to try and win you back. Or they may um, even um, ask you to get married. Look at this. You have free yourself. It's time to take back control. So I feel like this is um, somebody who has made you feel stuck in the past. That's why you're feeling beat up. Okay, the wounded warrior here. Um, making you feel stuck because I get here in the past. They didn't show their emotions. They didn't show their feelings. Or they didn't offer you commitment. What you were hoping for, wishing for. And that's why I was saying some of you I feel here are manifesting a new beginning where you are going to take control and you are going to move forward until this person 
expresses um you know where things are going in the connection or take some sort of action you have here stay optimistic about your love life putting that positive intention into the universe okay knowing what you want in the situation putting that intention out there because fear could be blocking okay your manifestation here all right you have retreat it's time to disconnect from the world and you have honeymoon here too okay so i feel like this is is getting to a place where you can feel more peaceful more calm about the situation okay where you're going where you're headed some of you i get here are going to move on some of you um are going to want to work things out with this person i'm going to pull the possible outcome possible outcome here i say possible because energy changes so decisions you make your person or outside influences can change the result but let's get the possible current energy here the possible outcome for capricorn okay so you have the strength card strong leo the moon card strong pisces and you have uh the knight of swords bottom of the deck here you have the three of pentacles yeah this person is going to return um i feel like they're trying to get the courage to reach out to you to come towards you with communication they definitely have fears i feel um as i said earlier i feel like there could be some sort of secret um that hasn't been revealed all right um and that's why they've hold held back from taking any sort of action i do see here with the three of pentacles it does show an energy that they do want to work on things with you an energy here of collaboration and then you have the queen of swords okay you're showing up as the queen of swords again and it's not about male or female it's about the energy but i feel here you're going to listen to what this person has to say and I feel you're going to make some sort of decision. I still feel like you're attached to this person. And I feel like you're hoping that things could work out. I do feel for some of you, I do feel like you're going to come into union. And this very well could lead to engagement and marriage. There is a strong uh, soulmate uh, connection here. But for others, I do feel like there's new love. If you take the other direction, there is another relationship coming in for you. Either way, look at that. You have the Ace of Pentacles and you have the Ace of Cups. So I definitely get some something, some a relationship coming in for you, no matter what your situation is here. But they're saying stay optimistic. Don't let fears block you in this situation. So Capricorn, I hope you gained some clarity in your reading. Again, details are below if you want to enter the giveaway or check out my new channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening. And I'm sending you angel love.